welcome back to the series all about War Thunder's almost useful knowledge. Check out the other videos in this series at the end of this video. The Lysar Bay map has relatively recently come to Air RB, as the map was previously only available in Air Arcade. However, when playing Air RB, if you can remember to change it, there's an option to air spawn even when you're playing a runway spawned fighter. You can save yourself from a funeral fire due to a lack of FPE by reversing your engine deck into water. There's only like two places in the whole game that allow you to actually do this though, so best of luck. The Japanese winter camos can be made a lot more wintry with any white decal. I find this horse decal works best. On Russian milk trucks, crew members are so dedicated to their military service that they will still help traverse the gun despite quite literally being dead. By dropping a sea mine from a plane into a part of the ground forces map that is made up of water, you essentially create a landmine. If a tank drives over the place you drop the landmine within 180 seconds, they go kaboom. The Panther II, Quellian and Tiger 105 have been removed from the game for quite some time now, for historical reasons. Despite this, it's still possible to test drive the Panther II on a brand new account today. The second tank tutorial makes use of the Panther II, so if you're desperate to drive this vehicle, there is a way. Welcome to the second part of the tank battle tutorial. Although, the round you get is a little overpowered. Normandy has got to be the most religious town in War Thunder. They've got four separate churches within a one kilometer area. If you ever want to check tank damage models for weak spots against 50 cows, you can choose the M2A2 in protection analysis. Since the tank only has 50 cows as primary weapons, this is the only thing it allows you to fire at tanks. You can zoom in spectator mode. The default keybind is insert and delete, but I recommend rebinding this to your mouse wheel. ULQ players sometimes shoot through the ground. This is because the top layer of snow doesn't exist in the collision model and can simply just be shot through. The snow is there for cosmetic purposes, but keeping this in mind could be helpful. Spawn protection is not only a feature for ground forces. If you want to test drive an event vehicle that's on the marketplace but not yet viewable in the hangar, click the view item in hangar button while browsing the item on the Gajongle Dongle market. The concrete blocks on Alaska can be shot down and have some physics. Sadly, these don't damage tanks at all. The F-104S can fly without tail control, as the flaps are rated for an incredibly high speed, so you can simply just use the flaps to gain lift instead of your elevator in case of an emergency. The Japan ground map doesn't have a layout for the battle game mode. Crew replenishment might seem useless on a two-man tank, but in arcade, if you lose one crew, you immediately start replenishing crew. This makes it actually possible to survive on one crew temporarily. The Panzer IV-H wears his enemy as his armour. The tank has T-34 tracks as add-on armour instead of Panzer IV tracks. And when it comes to German vehicles, the T on the Jagdpanzer 38T and Panzer 35 means Czechoslovakia in German. Similarly, R means Russia and A means America. If you already have a test drive on a vehicle, activating more test drive time will stack. You can tell how much of an up tier you are in by how much your vehicle costs to spawn. I don't understand the physics behind it, but different game environments dynamically affect the drop of tank shells. Removing the guns on the Mirage will give you a rocket fuel booster pod for some extra speed. There's a smiley face hidden on Sinai, and a certain evil German wartime leader lurks on Middle East. It's possible for bomber gunners to black out due to excessive hygiene maneuvers independently of the pilot. Almost every map in the game has a separate sim layout that generally increases the size of the map. Tunisia even has an entire additional town and a huge bridge added to the map. If someone on your team is spamming radio messages constantly, you can return to audible tranquility by right clicking and pressing mute radio. Additionally, you can change the voice of your own radio in the sound settings. Now for the next part in this video, we have a special guest coming in from the funny upside down land. G'day, it's Ash. Speaking of radios, War Thunder has the ability to tune into any internet radio station and replace the game music. Sadly, the music is pretty useless to me as I've just grinded Update Equa Stroke and, well, I've lost all ability to feel anything. Well, a big thank you to our special guest. You can change the colour of your tank thermal optics. Other than the standard black and white, there's red and green options. At the moment, each squadron can only have one commander. 
However, you used to be able to have multiple squadron commanders, and any squadrons that still have multiple commanders have kept them all these years. For example, this squadron here has 8 commanders and no deputy. You can bind a button to view ground vehicles from the driver's view, and vehicles like the Falcon have almost functional wing mirrors. You don't need to be an incredible artist or know about the War Thunder CDK to make an amazing skin. Simply press this button, open the file it generates, and paste something fantastic. During night battles, you can become 0.01% more stealthy by turning off your cockpit lighting. The L333 is small enough to hide in the construction tubes on Stalingrad. The Yak-9B is likely the only fighter in the game that has a bomb bay and even has the ability to drop four individual bombs. The bombs may be small, but don't underestimate what a 50kg bomb can do. With enough practice, this plane can easily kill four tanks per flyout. War Thunder has functionality for racing. Racing is mostly used for occasional events like Halloween or the more recent tank biathlon event, but there have been, in the past, racing tournaments. There's a sign on Poland by the castle to warn you of the moat. Currently the only all aspect missiles in the game are on helicopters, but given the right situation, as a lot of people have seen, you can get top tier missiles like the R60 to be all aspect too, with a little bit of radar slaving. But did you know even the most basic AIM-9B can be all aspect given the right situation? Cosmetic flags exist for almost every country, but for some reason Scotland and Welsh flags are hidden. The flags do exist in the game and can be added to accounts manually, but remain unpurchasable, which is a real shame for people who live in those countries. Spectating a ball pup is heavily desynced and can look funky when a player is actually guiding the AGM. The train on American Desert has height adjustable hydropneumatic suspension, just like the Type 90. The football Sheridan from the World Cup event is essentially invulnerable to anything short of a PE8, and the jump button is controlled by the top MG, so destroying the top MG disables your ability to jump. If you somehow get your tracks blown out while driving the vehicle, you have a 300 second repair time. Open top and lightly armoured vehicles can be destroyed with pure kinetic force of an aircraft applied directly to forehead. Artillery doesn't have to be used on the minimap. Press the middle bounce button to drop directly in front of you. There's even an easter egg voice line. Target my location! A big thank you to Patrick K, Moashi, Vitrix and Mazza for supporting the channel through memberships. Click the join button to become a defender of the D-point alongside them. Links to Ash and everyone who helped make this video possible are in the description.